What's going on guys? So today we're talking about the Kershaw Skyline XL. Essentially this is just the bigger brother to the Kershaw Skyline. Extremely popular knife design from Kershaw because it was affordable and it was comfortable and it worked. You know, it was, uh, it was the cheap option that everyone loved. They came out with a bunch of different versions of it. I had the uh, Damascus version of it as well, which is pretty, pretty spiffy, kind of a little bit of an upgrade there. But uh, yeah, this is just the bigger brother. If you like the small one and you felt it was too small, well, here's your solution, right? But for the people who've never seen the Skyline, I'll, I'll still go over a couple things. So specs on the large one, it is an 8CR 13MOV for the blade steel. See in the back here? Actually, while we're back here, we'll look at that model. 1761, which is the large Skyline uh, OL for the olive green G10 and BLK for the black blade. But yeah, it is a hollow ground drop point blade. Came nice and sharp. The 8CR 13MOV, is, it's a soft steel, but... You know, it's appropriate for its price range. It sells for $35 brand new. So, you know, I'm not looking for anything super crazy or advanced with that. It's a, a cheap Chinese steel. Not a cheap knife, but it works. Um, five inches closed. All right, again, that OD Green G10. No real texturing on it at all. It's pretty smooth. All right. Makes it 8.75 inches overall. And fairly light. Just under four ounces. This comes in at 3.9 ounces. And that is contributed by the fact that they do not have a second liner in here. So it is a liner lock. There's a lock up. Okay, so obviously the liner locking side needs a liner. That's where the lock comes from, right? But there's no liner on the top. Okay, as if you notice, most knives, they have, you know, two metal liners. So this is just a piece of G10 for the one side of the scale. The only concern there would be if it would flex or anything. I mean, maybe if you ran over this with a truck or something, maybe you'd get it to crack, but I don't know about you. I don't usually run over my knives unless it's on purpose. So I don't think that'd be a problem as far as strength. And again, for a $35 knife, maybe, you know, it's not really a big consideration for you either. It might be your, your beater knife option. This is an awesome, like, first knife. People don't want to spend a bunch of money, but you want a nice, decent knife that's going to work for you. It's comfortable. Extremely comfortable. I actually much prefer the larger one now to the small one. There was nothing wrong with the Skyline until I got this one. I said, yep. It should have been bigger, and now it is, and I really do prefer it. Obviously, there's more capability with more of a cutting edge. Simple drop point. It's very versatile. Not a whole lot of belly here or whatever, but, um, you know, a decent little point on it. Like I said, they do come sharp. As long as you can maintain your blades, that 8CR 13MOV is no problem. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just a, a bigger version of the Skyline. Not a whole lot to say. I do like the pocket clip design. You see that it does carry pretty high in the pocket. There is a lanyard hole on there. Flipping over, you notice that there's not any more, there's no holes tapped for the um, left side carry. However, this came in a tip down position. The pocket clip was here when I got it, and I swapped it to a tip up. Okay, so it is um, swappable, not reversible. All right, so sorry for the lefties out there, but for the righties, it can go tip up or tip down. And most people just prefer it uh, tip up. But, uh, but yeah, decent flipper. There's um, no jimping anywhere, it's very smooth design. The flipper itself sticks out plenty. I mean, you're not going to miss the thing. Even though there's no, no jimping on there either and it's super smooth, I don't miss it. I don't slip off of it. Doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, Lockup is perfect on this. No wiggle room anywhere. It's really nice for 35 bucks. It's a, it's a Skyline, which is bigger. So yeah, I mean, I much prefer it. Like I said, uh, when I first heard about it, I'm like, I definitely got to try one because I want to see if the bigger version's better, you know? And it is, everything you like about the Skyline, but a little bit more edge, a little bit more capability. Um, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit heavier because of the size, but it's just nice, very, very comfortable. I get a full grip on here, very deep finger choil, so your, your hand really just locks in. All right, you're not gonna slip anywhere, but I like it. So you guys let me know down in the comments um, if you have both Skylines, what you prefer, you know? But I, I do definitely like this more than the original. So yeah, it's a pretty pretty straightforward video here. Everyone knows about the Skyline. This is just the bigger version, but I do like it. I do recommend it for a first knife, or if you're just looking for another, another knife to add to your collection, but you don't got a whole lot of money to spend, this is a cool one to look at. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of, uh, of Kershaw. They come out with some cool stuff. So anyway, that is it. Kershaw Skyline XL. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.